Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will cover 2016 paper Strength of Material, Design of Machine Elements and Engineering Mechanics part Question number 34 and 30, 38 I will solve Already part 1 and part 2 completed This is part 3 Question is, a simply supported beam or SS beam of length 3L is subjected to the loading as shown in the figure it's given that P equal to 1 Newton, L equal to 1 meter and Young's modulus E equal to 200 GPA gigapascal. The cross section is a square with dimension 10 into 10 mm square. The bending stress in Pascal or Newton per mm square at the point A located at the top surface of the beam at a distance of 1.5 L from the left end is how much we have to calculate at point A. Okay, bending stress, it's 1.5L means uh, at the midpoint, okay, compressive stress by negative sign and tensile stress is positive sign. First we will draw the diagram, let this point is A point, this point is B point and center is C point. A B and center is C point. So this is reaction at A, reaction at B, and here at distance L, its P is upwards, here P is downward, distance L, L, and L. Sorry, here this point is A point already given. So you take these two points B and C. Here you will get RB and here RC. This point is C point. If you consider all the vertical loads, sigma FY equal to 0, summation of all vertical loads. So RB plus RC upwards it's positive plus P downwards it's negative minus P it's equal to PP cancel so RB equal to minus of RC then take moment along B moment along B it's equal to 0 for equilibrium then P into 2L clockwise take positive and anticlockwise take its negative minus P into L minus RC into 3L it's equal to 0 so from here P into L minus P into 2L you will get P into L RC into 3L it's equal to P into L L L cancel RC equal to P by 3 and so RB equal to minus P by 3. If you consider moment at A point, you start from left side. So sagging and hugging. Sagging is positive and hugging is negative, already discussed. So here if you start RC into 1.5L, it's sagging, so it's positive, this is sagging, it's positive and hugging like this, it's negative. So for RC, bending moment at A point, it's equal to RC into 1.5L and P, P also here P is downwards so hugging it will minus P into distance up to A point it's L by 2 or 0.5L then RC value we already got it's P by 3 
into 1.5 L minus P into 0 0.5 L. So finally we will get 3 and 1.5 it's P by 2 0 0.5 so you will get 0. So bending moment at A point it's 0. And bending stress value we have to calculate. Bending stress we know sigma b by y equal to m by i equal to e by r. This formula we will use here. Sigma b equal to bending moment divided by i into y maximum. Here already m value we got 0. So sigma b equal to 0. Bending stress is 0 at a point so from option also, this is fill in the blanks question so value is 0 2 marks question no negative marking question number 38 2 marks question options are available so negative marking is there the principal stress at a point inside a solid object are sigma 1 equal to 100 mpa sigma 2 equal to 100 mpa both are tensile positive and sigma 3 is equal to 0 the yield strength of the material is 200 mp the factor of safety calculated using tresca or maximum stress theory is n by t and factor of safety calculated using von mises maximum distortional energy theory is n b which of the following relation is true so mdet and Maximum shear stress M double S T. So for M D E T, our formula is maximum distortion energy theory. Our formula is sigma one minus sigma two square plus for three dimensional stress. Sigma two minus sigma three square plus sigma three minus sigma one it square. It's equal to 2 into sigma y divided by factor of safety whole square. This is for MDET of von Mises theory. And for maximum shear stress theory, the given is maximum shear stress theory. Yes, maximum guest and Tresca theory. This is Tresca theory. This name is also important. Sometimes in least one and least two, they will give Tresca theory and other side maximum shear stress theory they will give. So here, maximum value of shear stress, induced shear stress, it should be less than, here also this is less than equal to your maximum shear stress. So sigma 1 by minus sigma 2 by 2 sigma 2 minus sigma 3 by 2 sigma 3 minus sigma 1 by 2 maximum of any one maximum of this one it should less than equal to shear stress maximum sigma y by 2 factor of safety is there so here you can write it as tau maximum divided by factor of safety here shear stress induced maximum shear stress induced it should less than tau max divided by factor of safety this is maximum shear stress theory or gas and tresca theory so from we will calculate induced maximum induced shear stress Sigma 3 is 0, so sigma 1 or sigma 2 minus sigma 3 by 2 that is maximum. Sigma 1 minus sigma 3 by 2 will get 100 minus 0 or 100 by 2, it's 50 MPa or Newton per mm square. This is maximum value of shear stress industry. It should be yield shear, less than yield shear stress by factor of safety. Sigma induced, it should be tau y divided by factor of safety. And tau y is 
direct yield stress divided by 2 so from here tau y equal to sigma y by 2 sigma y given in this question its yield value of tensile stress 200 by 2 it's 100 mp so factor of safety factor of safety from here factor of safety equal to tau y by tau induced tau y is 100 mp tau induced is this one maximum value of industrial stress it's 50 so factor of safety in the case of maximum shear stress theory it's 2 it's sorry it's it's a 2 and it's equal to ANT so ANT equal to 2 this is equation 1 and for MD it is here sigma 1 and sigma 2 both are same so this will become 0 sigma 3 is 0 sigma 3 is 0 so 100 square plus 100 square equal to 2 into sig yield, yield stress tensile stress it's 4s square so 2 into 100 square equal to 2 into 200 into 200 factor of safety square 2 to cancel 2 here also 2 so factor of safety square equal to 2 square factor of safety equal to 2 and this is given in nb nb equal to 2 this is equation 2 we have to calculate both are coming to from equation and equation 1 and equation 2 a and b equal to a and t equal to 2 both are same so from option c is our answer this is the end of set 1 set 1 strength of material D, machine design and your engineering mechanics part maximum question they are asking for strength of material then your design of machine elements and engineering mechanics around 3 marks they will ask 3 marks sometimes 4 5 marks also they are asking sometimes 1 mark also so it's varying thank you friends Thank you for watching my video. Thank you.